The symbol library gives you easy access to all the symbols that are not only included in the software, but custom symbols that you may create yourself. There's a variety of three-dimensional symbols, trees, different utilities, vehicles, typical mapping symbols, and national CAD standard symbols. If you have custom symbols that you would like to load into the library for easy use, and this is accessible not only from the draft menu, but directly from field to finish, you can simply add a category, top level category in this case, call it custom. Once if I've created a category, I can highlight that category and import symbols. I browse to the location where these symbols might be. I can highlight by holding the shift and click, selecting all files at one time. The confirmation dialog box appears asking you to confirm that you are going to copy these symbols locally onto your C drive. And I will say yes to all. And if there is a duplicate file, it will ask you if you would like to overwrite that, yes or no. Save that. And next time I want to draw a symbol, I can select that symbol by finding my category and pick any one of these that I had created. When you place the symbol, note the layer name that the symbol is going to be placed on, as well as the symbol size. This symbol size is a scalar that is associated with the drawing scale itself. Note I also have the option for prompt for erase existing symbols. When inserting a symbol, you can pick a point on the screen, snap to any CAD entity, or simply type in the point number. Because the option of prompt for existing symbols was set, it is asking me whether or not I want to erase the existing symbol for that point. I'm going to say yes, and it is replaced with a new symbol. Another way to add or change symbols in a drawing is to simply double click on the point and go to the symbol tab. Again, selecting from the library of symbols, select a new one and hit OK.